wasn't the best decision I've made yet this morning. Much better. So the best day, way to deal with a little bit of snow left over in your boots is wear thick wool socks. They're, they're water resistant and your feet will stay warm and dry if there's just a little bit of snow in there. I'm really excited because I ran into Tractor Supply the other day to get something. And they had this really pretty, warm, gigantic winter coat on clearance. So I have a coat that fits now. I don't know if you noticed, but my black down coat was not really fitting me anymore. <laughs> morning. Doing things a little differently this morning with my milking. I got these new pails that have a lid. I'm gonna try to milk straight into those. I know that seems all innovative, but it's really more because I forgot to wash the milk pail last night. Or yesterday I guess and now it's filled with snow which is no big deal but I thought, well maybe I'll just try to milk straight into my pails and then that will save one more step if it seems like it's gonna work out my concerns with it are that the opening in the top won't be wide enough to catch the milk as well as the other bucket and also that that other bucket is so heavy-duty it's more it's harder for her to kick it over so anyway, it snowed again, here we are. And it's a beautiful morning, and it's really not that cold. I love snowy days that aren't really cold. Morning. Hey, Mama. Have you guys ever seen a cow do this? She does this all the time, so I know she's gonna be okay. But those of you that have had dairy cows, I'd love to know what you think about that. Good morning, Brownie. Oh, you are just filthy this morning, Miss Dolly. I think this is her favorite part of being milked. It's being brushed. She just totally, this is the best feeling in the world, especially when I do her udder. It's pretty cute. Okay, I'm done milking. See how my experiment went. So I milked into these pails. And I feel like it was pretty dirty because I missed the pail a lot and got it all over the sides. Um, it was also a lot harder because I had to be so much more careful. Even though I might occasionally do it this way, I think I'll stop being lazy and wash my milk bucket. <laughs> it was definitely, I definitely enjoy milking more into my large milk pail. What do you think, Dolly? What's so interesting about having a milk cow is they can hold their milk back. And some mornings she just lets it go for me. And I'll get over two gallons. And then there's morning like this where I have to fight for every single bit and I got about a gallon though I know as soon as I let brownie out he's gonna come nurse good morning go find your mama first thing he does every time and he gets plenty so I know she's holding that milk back Nothing wrong with being a good mama. We're thankful that you're a good mama. Good job being a mama. Good job being a mama. Good morning, Duke. Morning, Rosie. And Piglets. Arthur started working on the fence, the garden fence, yesterday. So nice. 
to know that soon we'll have all the chickens up here again instead of having them kind of all over the place. So I have a question for you guys. Do homeschoolers get snow days like public schoolers? No. no. They get summer days. Right. Unless it's the first snow. And then we take the day off, don't we? But what do we do when it's like super warm and sunny outside in the middle of winter? We just spend the whole day outside. We take Sundays, don't we? Sunny days. If any of you kids are watching and you're thinking, man, I wish I was homeschooled, keep that in mind. No snow days, maybe one snow day. <laughs> but we take summer sunny days in the winter. All right, can you guys, it's almost nap time. Who wants to put on boots and get me some firewood? Me. Joy is our firewood queen. Can you help? Of course you can. Mama. It is so nice not to have to go out in the snow again this morning. Go get me some more. I need more than that. Okay, sweetie? Good just, helper. Just getting some. Go get two more pieces. Oh, buddy. Are your feet cold? Why don't you come on in? Are you done? <laughs> you want to throw that in? Okay. How do you open it? I'll open it for you. Alright, just throw it in careful. You're letting a bunch of smoke out, so be quick. Ooh. Alright, we gotta shut the stove. It's too smoky. Do you think you'll go get wood and bare feet again? You want to do it right now? How about you want to show my Elsa's boots? <laughs> you could try if there are some. Technically, we haven't started school yet, but Grace is doing origami, which is pretty cool. Origami is one of my favorite crafts because it just kind of gives immediate gratification and you don't have to worry about keeping everything out all the time. Use a book and some paper. Hey, Shep and Sassy. Be gentle. Yeah, you'd have to wax it in order to keep it from sinking. Mommy, can I put this in? Mama, can I put this in? That's cool. <laughs> you are the firewood queen around here. Always help with firewood. Thank you. You ready to start school? After you finish your snack? You don't, you don't want to do your math today? No, I don't want to, I want to eat a stroke and do it at the same time. Oh, I would rather wait. Let's Why wait. Why spicy? It's a little different because she can do hers on her own. Okay, school time. We're running a little bit late, <clears throat> but that happens on these cold days. We just kind of slow to start. I don't really care because it started taking only one hour. Yeah, you're fast now, huh? Because your math's gotten easier. You've gotten so good at math. I have this gorgeous Thai curry soup that we will are reheating from yesterday. I also have a pot of bone broth going. I know that doesn't look very good. But what did you just say? It's really good. It is really good. <laughs> so I probably have like six or eight quarts in my freezer. That's going to be another probably six or eight quarts. That feels so nice to have all that bone broth going. All from chickens that we butchered. Okay, now you're gonna circle the middle one. This is what it looks like when you add all the fresh veggies in and it's beautiful. Do you like Thai curry soup? Why? Because it has meat and noodles. What about the fresh veggies? I thought you liked them because they're crunchy and not um, mushy. Are they cooked? No, they're crunchy, oh, remember? You just put them in? Yep. Yeah, you don't like mushy veggies, huh? Mama, on my birthday, I want this except, I want no vegetables in it except sweet peas. Just that are raw. Raw sweet peas in it? And um, chicken and um, noodles. Sounds good. That's a good birthday meal. School's over for the day. The kids are just outside. They're playing in the snow, having a great time, riding bikes. It was another great day on the homestead. We will see you guys in the next video.